Dreallday.com. What up, Dre Baldwin? Dreallday.com. Making a new video about icing the knees. I made one a couple years back, but I want to give an updated video because I've updated my techniques a little bit and give a little bit more detail based on the questions people had asked me back then. Icing the knees is something that I recommend for all basketball players. I can't speak for any other sport because I don't play any other sport, but any sport that puts impact on the knees. What y'all have to understand is that the human body was not designed to play basketball. So when you're playing basketball, because some players ask me, you know, how do I avoid injury when playing basketball? The only way to avoid injury in playing basketball is to not play basketball because the body wasn't designed to play a sport. The stuff that we do in basketball, all that jumping, and cutting, stopping, and starting, changing directions, and things like that. The body was not. The body did not evolve for that. Human body evolved to run, chase after animals, or run away from animals so we could kill them and eat them. That's what the human body evolved for. So we haven't evolved into what basketball players are. We are physical anomalies, people who play basketball. So anyway, you do need to protect your knees because what happens when you play basketball? Even if your knees don't hurt. Once you get older, maybe in your late 20s and into your 30s, your knees, you might start to feel some aching in your knees after you play or even while you're playing, which hopefully not, but you may start to. There's inflammation. What happens is when you put pressure, when you put force on the joints, the ankles, the knees, the lower back, those are all joints. Those aren't muscles. The joint is where, uh, I, don't, I want to make sure I don't misquote myself here, is where I think a muscle and a bone meet or where two bones meet or where tendons and ligaments is where things meet. All right, let's just put it that way. <laughs> it doesn't matter exactly what it is scientifically. That's not what this video is about. But it's a joint. It's where something meets. It's not an actual muscle. So there's no knee muscle. There's not an ankle muscle. There's not a lower back muscle. It's a joint because it's where something meets. And that's where inflammation can happen. I know a lot of you know what it feels like to have a pain in your lower back or to twist an ankle or to have pain in your knees because all you talk to me about it all the time the reason I talk about the knees the knees are probably the number one area of challenges for basketball players one thing I say to basketball players all the time is when your knees go you go because when your knees can't take it anymore you can't play basketball you can't sprint when your knees hurt you can't run full speed one way, stop, and then go the other way, which you have to do in basketball all the time. If you're sprinting back on offense and there's a turnover, you got to stop and go the other way at full speed on defense or the same thing, vice versa, defense to offense. If you can't do that, you can't play basketball, period. The court's only 94 feet, so it's not like a marathon where you're just running in a straight line at a steady pace the entire time. You're stopping and starting, and you got to move sideways when you're playing defense and when you're playing offense, not to mention the other nine guys that's all on the floor. So the pr point of me saying all that is this. Your knees are taking a pounding every time you play. Every time you jump in the air and land, you're putting force on the knees. Your knees are absorbing that force. Now, the shoes that you wear and the services that you play on play a role in that. So people ask me all the time, is playing on concrete going to mess up my knees? It's not necessarily that it's going to mess up your knees. Here's the thing. Playing basketball, period, is going to mess up your knees. I don't care what you're playing on. I don't care if you play basketball on a trampoline. It's going to mess up your knees eventually because you're putting force on your body every single time you do it. Trampoline is a bad example because it gives. But if you're playing even on a hardwood floor in a gym at LA Fitness or at your school or something like that, Every time you land, you're putting force on your joints. So eventually, that's wearing down your knees every single time you jump. So it don't matter if it's concrete or indoors. Yes, you're messing up your knees just plain, period. Now, concrete doesn't give as much as a hardwood floor, most hardwood floors. And some of them are not good, and they are basically the same as concrete. So it's not a general answer that I can say if you play indoors, it won't mess up your knees. And if you play outdoors, it will. And, some, and everybody's body is different. Some, how many of you know somebody who's like 35 and they still dunk and they don't even stretch or ice their knees and they just look as athletic as somebody who's 21? We all have met people like that. And how many of you know someone who's 23 and their knees are killing them and they can barely run up and down the court five times without having to stop to rub their knees or they're in pain or they can't play no more after two games? So there's no one, fit, there's no one size fits all when it comes to the human body. Our bodies are all different. We all had to adjust based on what our bodies are telling us. So there's no one way that I can say, okay, this definitely will happen to you if you do this, and this won't if you do this. It doesn't work like that. All of you have to listen to your own bodies, which is what I tell people all the time. 
And sometimes people get frustrated because I won't I won't get them a what they say, a quote unquote, straight answer. There is no straight answer because I can't speak for every person's body. You can only speak for your own. And I can't feel what you're feeling. Only you can feel it. And I'm also not a doctor, so I can't diagnose you, especially through a YouTube comment. Only a doctor, somebody who's a trained, certified physician, professional, can diagnose what's really going on in your body. If you have a serious problem, you'll see a doctor. Say all that to say this, to get to the icing on the knees. After you play basketball, as close to after you get off the court as possible, you want to put ice on your knees. The reason you do that is because, like I talked about in the ankle video, if you have a twisted ankle or something like that, the inflammation in your knees, there's a lot of blood going to your knees because of the pressure that you're putting on those joints. The blood goes, to, the blood goes there. The blood goes there and there's a lot of force that has been put on them, as I said before. And when you put ice on your knees, what it does is constrict the veins or the arteries, whichever one it is. Again, that doesn't, scientifically, it doesn't matter what I'm saying here to get the point. It constricts them, which keeps so much blood from rushing there, which kind of eases up on the inflammation. And the less inflammation you have, the better shape your knees will be in and the longer they'll last, generally speaking. Now, people can correct me. If I have any of the exact points of this wrong, if it doesn't have anything to do with the discussion, let's not get into it. But if there's something that I have scientifically wrong here that doesn't make the point proper, that people wouldn't understand it, you can correct me on it. But I'm 99% sure I'm right. So anyway, <laughs> you want to put ice on your knees as close to the end of the game as possible to, so that you can get that inflammation down. What I use for ice now is this. It's this is called True Fit. I got this off of Amazon.com. If you just go on Amazon, Amazon's available everywhere. And you just search True Fit. This is like a Velcro, Velcro, Velcro strapped ice pack here. So what it is, is I'll show you the the packet in a second is this strap velcro strap here this connects when you wrap it around your knee you put it there like that and it straps on your knee y'all can hear the velcro and it has a little pocket here so inside this little pocket you put your reusable cold pack or hot pack this here right that i'm showing you is a reusable pack that's both cold and hot so if i put it in the freezer it gets cold and if i put it in the microwave this would get hot and it has instructions on how long you put it in there. So I slide this pack into here, put it around my knee. I'm not gonna lift my knee up here because it wouldn't work for the video, but let's say it's my elbow, put it up like that, strap it around, put it on. And then you make it as tight as you need it to be. And then you keep it on there. I keep the ice on my knees. This is something people ask a lot. I keep the ice on my knees for 10 to 12 minutes at the most. 10 to 12 minutes and then I take it off. As far as this packet here, some of them, if you get this strap on Amazon, it comes with a reusable pack inside of it. I don't think this is the same pack. This is not the same pack that came with it because the pack, after you use it for several months, this is like, this is like made of plastic. So eventually it might start leaking. The stuff that's inside of it, whatever this is, who cares? It starts leaking out. So I throw that one away and you can buy another one. These cost like maybe $10 at the most. I bought this pack from Target for like seven bucks so you just get a reusable one for like seven dollars and as big as this packet is usually i put two of them two of them in here so you can fit two of them inside there next to each other so that when you put it on your knee you get like the top the middle and the bottom of your knee all at once because you see as thin as this is it's not going to get all the way around your knee this kind of goes like right on the cap of the knee so you can get two of those Probably spend like twenty dollars total with the strap. The strap is another ten, so maybe thirty bucks total. Is that worth it? So you'd be able to play basketball. Would you put? Would you pay thirty dollars to be able to play basketball for another five years? I think so. So that's what I do to, to, for my knees. Ten. You get this off Amazon.com. Reusable cold packs. You can buy at any store, any health store, any any convenience store like a Target or a Walmart. Again, you could buy the whole thing or replacements. You can also buy on Amazon.com. 10 to 12 minutes to put the ice on your knees and even if your knees don't bother you yes it is a good idea to put the ice on them because it lets the inflammation go down and it will hold off on the pains that will start to come if you keep playing basketball and in general messing up your knees is going to happen if you play sports all right the body was not made to play basketball so if you don't want to mess up your knees don't play sports but your knees will get messed up if you keep playing basketball quote unquote messed up 
faster than they would if you didn't play basketball or you didn't play any sports at all. So that's just how it is. That's the price you pay if you want to play ball. So that's what I do to ice my knees. Hopefully that answers everybody's questions. If I missed anything, let me know. I'll reply to you in the comments. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.